Hi, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm Chris. Uh, I've got Isaac sat next to me. He's helping me out. Um, say hello, Isaac. Say hello. <laughs> he wanted to help me. No, he doesn't want to. <laughs> but um, just an update um, video. Uh, getting the camper van ready for the summer. Um, it's the weekend before the May Bank holiday. And... Um, we're going away next weekend so sanitizing the water system cleaning everything cleaning the outside cleaning the inside um, we're going to do a trial run without the trailer so we've got all new boxes and internal storage uh, which we can then take out and put under the camper van so also a big thank you to all our new subscribers the last count we had 62 new uh, 62 subscribers um, Last few weeks seem to have uh, started getting a, a few more subscribers, surprisingly. Um, but yeah, we've got um, a lot planned for the summer. So first trip, uh, Maybank holiday. Um, we probably would, by the time this video comes out, we probably would have already been away. Uh, going to Bradford on Avon to a temporary holiday site. I think it's the Wiltshire District Association with the Camping and Caravanning Club. Uh, then we've got a trip to Wales. Um, also staying in Shropshire for a couple of nights. Um, yeah, North Wales, Snowdonia, um, then Elam Valley, um, and then um, Anthony Priory um, in the Brecon Beacons. Uh, hopefully, the campsite there is going to be opening. They say they are. Um, but. Uh, yeah, nice uh, two-week break there, but that's the main reason we're going without the trailer because there's a lot of little narrow lanes. Um, so the first trip will be a um, trial run for that. Um, then, yeah, hopefully some weekends away. Maybe just a weekend with me and the boys. Hey, how about that weekend, just me, you and Edward? That'd be fun. Yeah, hopefully <laughs> for the boys, maybe not for me. Um, and yeah, I, I think we're going to, in the August bank holiday, we're booked to go back to Bradford, uh, no, Barton Bradstock again, because that was a good site, right by the seaside. Um, and it was well organised, I think that's the southern southern region that the Camping and Caravan Club organised that. Again, temporary holiday site. Um, so yeah, a lot to look forward to through the summer. Uh, hopefully uh, all this pandemic stuff starts getting a bit more under control the vaccinations um, so when you get offered one get one I've had mine but that's mainly because of my job not because of <laughs> not because of my age or anything else um, so yeah just uh, waiting on Nicole to get hers um. all right here's our new pop-up washing up bowl stroke carrier from Aldi um, to save a bit of space that handy to store dirty plates and that carry over to the washing up area or even wash up in there and also under the drawer in here we're going to put the um this new uh clothes hanger dryer um fits perfectly underneath this drawer and i've got it from home bargains now quite a bit of storage behind here so you don't want to block that air vent in the bottom but um might be able to get some bits in there Definitely get that in there. Once you get something else. All right, another thing we've got: is a fire extinguisher. Another Audi purchase. Um, so this is the bracket. I'm gonna think we're gonna mount it down here on the side. I've looked up. Apparently, it's okay to put it on its side. If not, better to put it on its side. Um, that is a good place there by the by the door. Easy to get to. Um, if, if you're getting out <laughs> the other place I was thinking was on by the back door but um, I think that might get in the way there bang your legs on it and stuff and then other things we've got some more towels these are going to be for Nicole um, set two large and one slightly smaller so we've got one for the beach and she's got two for for showering and um, being a lady long hair and stuff got another green towel for Isaac so we have two one for beach swimming whatever and one for shower Edward's got another blue one dark blue one again so he's got one for the shower one for for beach and swimming and then I'm gonna have the old blue light blue towels 
that we've got in the cupboard. And we've got, because we're not planning on taking the trailer as much this year, we've got these in here as some big cover, big like waterproof zip up bags. So we can put the um, child seats in them, lay them flat and uh, put them under the camper van when we're on site. So we've got some new mugs Nicole bought off of um, Etsy. So these are like enamel, metal enameled camping mugs. This one's for Mummy, I've seen Nicole. Uh, one for Isaac with uh, Aliens, Space Rockets, Daddy's camper van mug. Uh, Self-explanatory. And Edward's got um, Night Diggers cranes on his. So we have to probably get rid of some of these other mugs. Well, probably keep them for spares or something like that. Uh, and then yeah, I'll open the cupboard up there. Hopefully they fit in the place of the um, green ones. We'll keep the, uh, the red and blue ones. I think these green ones are starting to crack in some places on some of them. That's not too bad, but um, yeah. The red and blue ones are in better condition. And there they are, up in the little shelf. So, just got to get rid of these. Right, so just fitted the fire extinguisher. It's one job done. Right, this is our new storage solution for going over a trailer. Um, we've actually got four of these boxes. Um, I've just got three out for the minute, so I've left one indoors, so put some toys and games in. Uh, I do behind this. That's where they live when we're traveling. And then they go underneath the camper van when we're on site. I'll show you that. There we go. That's them. And then along with the... Uh, Children's seats in their bags. Now, we are a bit bought these brand new from home base online and they've been delivered damaged. The lids, only one of the lids has survived, all the rest have got cracks. This isn't too bad. But this one, the whole side of it's done, the other side's damaged as well. This one's just got a little clip on it. Uh, received on Friday, it's Sunday. We sent pictures and messaged them on their online reporting system. Still haven't heard anything back, so a little bit disappointed with them, but hopefully they'll be able to just send out some new box lids. We can use them in the meantime, they're just not 100% going to be waterproof, but they'll be under the van, so shouldn't be too bad. We'll be able to use them. Just um, a bit disappointed if it wasn't packaged very well, really. Just in cardboard box, thin cardboard box, um, servicey delivery drivers and that being a bit heavy-handed bashed around cracked and bashed so put the um, wheel chocks dustpan and brush um, part of the barbecue little gas barbecue we've got water tap the water um, like topper up um, water carrier there's been bags in there the wardrobe is now full of bedding this is um, mainly mine and Nicole's, though there are a couple of blankets for the boys in there as well. Um, we haven't got the mattress topper in there, because that's just too big. That'll probably stand up in the back here. We also put the spare gas bottle in there, it is well sealed up. Um, though I'm probably taking a bit of risk because it's not a proper gas locker, but that is nearly empty and I'm not going to waste the gas in it. Um, got a spare cylinder cartridge in there. Probably get a couple in there if needed. Right, so I've managed to get the children's little table and the rest of their bed in, all down beside the uh, one of the rear passenger seats. And behind the child seat, I've got these two bags doing up a little gap there. So. Right, it's under this back bit of this seat, tool bag. It does go straight through into 
a bit under the seat. There's going to be shoes and um, coats. I'll try and get the uh, boys' helmets under here as well. Um, loads of space, but soon fills up with shoes and stuff. But then um, just my flip flops and walking boots in there at the minute. Um, it's got all the boys' stuff and the cold stuff to go in there. There should be plenty of storage for that. All right, so this is our three boxes we got out here. So it'll be a further one with some more like books and games for the boys. Uh, so obviously mainly games, toys. Um, there's a lantern, gas lantern in here. Obviously fold up um, picnic blanket. Uh, this one's got some chairs in. Pegs, hammer, electric hookup cable. This one's got ground sheet, small chairs, table. That's that. And then separately we've got the uh, camper sunscreen for the edge of the uh, wind out awning. Must have in the sun. Um, our, uh, our mattress topper, so that's going to have to stand up in the back or we travel, but it will fit when the switch swivel, seats are swiveled, go behind there. And then we've got our new Malenko uh, wheel trucks, they're the Quattro, Quattro 3, you can get Quattro 4. But after um, having a pitch with a big slope last year, we found the smaller yellow ones didn't do very well. So these ones hopefully lift the front of the van up or whatever wheel up a lot higher. But I'll uh, do a separate review on that. Right, so that's how it all sort of fits in. See, so it's going to be a bit difficult to use the loo on the road and the kitchen, but. Um, Instead of taking the trailer, uh, save a lot of uh, a lot of reversing and narrow lanes. Let's get to some more remote places. Also, let us travel at seventy on the motorway. So we've got one more of these boxes to go on top. So you still got this wardrobe. I can't open it <laughs> um, to fill up. It's just some towels and stuff in there. Um, and then a few bags of our clothes in, uh, cupboards with the food and the fridge with the food. And boy scooters go there. Um, we'll have wedged in with some bags and that footwell over that side or even down in there. Um, I think we're pretty much ready to for our first trip away. Just uh, last few bits to pack up.
this uh, little update video and um, if you want to see more from the channel if you're not already subscribed I expect most people watching this are subscribers because it's just a update video but um, if you're not subscribed um, press the little subscribe button doesn't cost you anything um, anything uh, I'll put I'll put some links to some of the uh, new products we've got um, in the description below and um, yeah like the video and like for the rest of our videos <laughs> so maybe see you out there and uh, if not um, keep in touch with the comments and uh, see you on our, our latest adventure soon <laughs>